if you are experiencing back pain shooting down the leg, you may have a slip disc. In this video, I'm going to explain about slip disc and the treatment options available that you can consider to treat this condition. Welcome to my channel. My name is Dr. Tony Setio Budi, an orthopedic and a spine surgeon at Mount Elizabeth Hospital. If you are new here, please consider subscribing and click the notification button. I will continue to share information that is accurate, up-to-date, and trustworthy. The spinal disc is located in between the bones, and we have so many of them. In the middle of the disc, there is a nucleus pulposus, the soft part of the disc, which contains jelly-like material. This gives the spine the flexibility. It also acts like a cushion to absorb the shock if we do activities such as running or jumping. When there is a crack in the disc and this jelly slipped out in the spinal canal, it can compress the nerves. The patient complain of sudden severe pain shooting down the leg. It usually affects only one leg, which is also known as sciatica. And this condition is called a slip disc. Other people may call it a herniated disc, which means the same thing. But if the disc is very big, it can affect both legs. It can also affect the bowel and the bladder function. If the patient cannot pass urine, it becomes a medical emergency. It requires an urgent surgery. Fortunately, majority of slip disc is not a medical emergency. Other symptoms may include pins and needles, tingling, numbness, and weakness in the leg. If you have these symptoms, I advise you to go and see your doctor to get it checked. An MRI scan may need to be done to confirm the diagnosis. Generally, sleep disc can be treated first conservatively with medication, activity modification, and physiotherapy. If the symptoms do not resolve after conservative treatment, spinal injection can be considered, especially if the diagnosis of sleep disc is not very clear. For example, the patient may have a small disc, but the symptoms may be disproportionately severe. In this kind of case, spinal injection is very useful to establish whether the small sleep disc is the cause of the severe leg symptoms. If after injection, the leg symptoms become significantly better or even resolve completely, this proves that the leg pain is caused by that small slip disc. <music> Lastly, the surgery to remove the slip disc needs to be performed if conservative treatment and spinal injection does not resolve the problem. This surgery is called microdiscectomy, a very simple surgery with a very high success rate, around 90 to 95%. The patient can feel significant improvement in the leg symptoms, or the leg symptoms may even resolve completely, almost immediately after the operation. This is a minimally invasive procedure with small incision and faster recovery. Usually, the patients need to stay in the hospital for about one day. There are small risks of bleeding, infection, and nerve injury with this operation. The use of microscope to improve the visualization of the nerve can further reduce the risk of nerve injury. I personally use neuromonitoring to monitor the nerve throughout the operation, but this is not a mandatory requirement. I believe neuromonitoring can increase the safety of the operation. If 
you want to know more about sleep disc and the treatment option of sleep disc, please go and visit your doctor. I hope this information is useful to all of you. If you like this video, please give me the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video to your friends. I hope to see you again in my next video. And for now, bye-bye.